Illinois CDL has MAT practice exam. Question 1. An X in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry means. The entry is for a hazardous material. This is an exception to the hazardous materials regulations. The material is not a hazardous material. Answer. The entry is for a hazardous material. Question 2. Carriers must give each driver who transports class A or B explosive. An extra fire bottle. The consignee's phone number. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. Answer. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. Question 3. With most hazardous materials, you may park within 5 feet of the road briefly, if your work requires it. The materials that are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the road are Explosives A and B Corrosives and oxidizers Acids and poisons Answer Explosives A and B. Question 4. Whenever your vehicle is placarded, do not drive near open fires unless you can safely pass the fire without stopping. Are equipped with fire sprinklers. Have LTL of a non flammable materials. Answer. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Question 5. To stop for railroad tracks, you should stop feet before the nearest track. 15 to 50. 5 to 20. 10 to 35. Answer. 15 to 50. Question 6. When transporting chlorine in cargo tanks, you must have an approved gas mask, an emergency kit for controlling leaks in fittings on the dome cover plate, both of the above. Answer. Both of the above. Question 7. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? Before starting the trip. While you are still on a part of the route that you know. Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip. Answer. Before starting the trip. Question 8. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid, UN 1789. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN 1048. Hexen, UN 1208, flammable liquid. Answer. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN 1048. Question 9. The transport index of a radioactive material is something that only the shipper needs to worry about is another way of writing the weight of the package tells the degree of control needed during transportation 
answer. Tells the degree of control needed during transportation. Question 10. A hazard class name or ID number may not be used to describe a Hazardous waste Non-hazardous material Reportable quantity of a hazardous substance Answer Non-hazardous material Question 11. Animals and human food stuff should not be loaded in the same vehicle with Flammable gases Explosives Poisons Answer Poisons Question 12. Who is responsible for safely transporting a hazardous material shipment without delay and keeping the shipping papers in the right place? The shipper. The driver. The carrier. Answer. The driver. Question 13. To find out if a shipment includes of hazardous materials, you should Check for a fence around the loading dock Look at the shipping papers Open and inspect every package and container Answer Look at the shipping papers Question 14. Carriers must give each driver who transports class A or B explosive. An extra fire bottle. The consignee's phone number. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. Answer. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. Question 15. Whenever your vehicle is placarded, do not drive near open fires unless you have LTL of a non-flammable materials. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Are equipped with fire sprinklers. Answer. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Question 16. The total transport index of all radioactive material packages in a single vehicle must not exceed 50 100 10 Answer 50 Question 17. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The hazard class. The identification number. The proper shipping name. Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 18. An X in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry means. The entry is for a hazardous material. The material is not a hazardous material. This is an exception to the hazardous materials regulations. Answer. The entry is for a hazardous material. Question 19. You are transporting hazardous materials. When you are not behind the wheel, the shipping papers must be on the driver's seat or on the dashboard in clear view.
in the pouch on the driver's door. With you. Answer. In the pouch on the driver's door. Question 20. With most hazardous materials, you may park within 5 feet of the road briefly, if your work requires it. The materials that are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the road are Explosives A and B Corrosives and oxidizers Acids and poisons Answer Explosives A and B Question 21 if there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the Material has an insurance value of over $1,000. Carrier must report any spill of this material. Material is in a package containing no other materials. Answer Carrier must report any spill of this material. Question 22. An X in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry means. The material is not a hazardous material. This is an exception to the hazardous materials regulations. The entry is for a hazardous material. Answer. The entry is for a hazardous material. Question 23. There are two lists that drivers, shippers, and carriers use to find out if a material is a regulated product. One of these lists is the EPA Dangerous Materials Table. Shippers List of Transportable Quantities. List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities. Answer List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities. Question 24. To find out if a shipment includes of hazardous materials, you should Check for a fence around the loading dock. Look at the shipping papers. Open and inspect every package and container. Answer Look at the shipping papers. Question 25. When fueling a placard at vehicle, someone must always be Within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher. At the emergency power shut off for the pump. At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Answer. At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Question 26. Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The shipper. The driver. The carrier. Answer. The driver. Question 27. If there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the Material is in a package containing no other materials. Material has an insurance value of over $1,000. Carrier must report any spill of this material. Answer Carrier must report any spill of this material. Question 28. 
you have a vehicle with all tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are less than half of the load. Bundled loosely together with steel strapping. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Answer. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 29. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Carrier. Shipper. Driver. Answer. Shipper. Question 30. To stop for railroad tracks, you should stop. Feet before the nearest track. 15 to 50. 5 to 20. 10 to 35. Answer. 15 to 50. Question 31. A hazard class name or ID number may not be used to describe a Reportable quantity of a hazardous substance Hazardous waste Non-hazardous material Answer Non-hazardous material Question 32. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid, UN 1789. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN 1048. Hexen, UN 1208, flammable liquid. Answer. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN-1048. Question 33. Which of the following must drivers have in their possession while transporting class A or B explosives? The written route plan. The carrier's insurance policy. Both of the above. Answer. The written route plan. Question 34. Class A explosives must not be transported in a combination vehicle if the vehicle includes a 200-inch wheelbase trailer, two or more trailers, a placarded cargo tank, Answer. A placarded cargo tank. Question 35. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The hazard class. The proper shipping name. The identification number. Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 36. With most hazardous materials, you may park within 5 feet of the road briefly, if your work requires it. The materials that are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the road are Explosives A and B. Corrosives and oxidizers. Acids and poisons. Answer. Explosives A and B.
Question 37, a vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Explosives of placards Dangerous placards Blasting agents placards Answer Explosives of placards Question 38. When there is hazardous materials emergency, you should Keep people away and warn them of danger. Prevent smoking and keep open flames away. Do both of the above. Answer. Do both of the above. Question 39. Class A explosives must not be transported in a combination vehicle if the vehicle includes A 200-inch wheelbase trailer Two or more trailers A placarded cargo tank Answer A placarded cargo tank Question 40. Which of the following must drivers have in their possession while transporting Class A or B explosives? The written route plan. The carrier's insurance policy. Both of the above. Answer. The written route plan. Question 41. The power unit of a placarded vehicle must have a fire extinguisher with a all rating of BC or more. 10. 5. 15. Answer. 10. Question 42. When fueling a placard at vehicle, someone must always be At the emergency power shutoff for the pump At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow Within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher Answer At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow Question 43. Which signals may be used to warn of a stopped vehicle that contains explosives? Reflective triangles Flares or fuses Signal fires Answer Reflective triangles Question 44. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Carrier Shipper Driver Answer Shipper Question 45. You are behind the wheel of a truck carrying a shipment of hazardous material. The shipping papers must be in a pouch on the driver's door or in A box under the driver's seat Clear view within your reach The truck's glove compartment Answer Clear view within your reach Question 46. When hauling hazardous materials, you must stop your vehicle and check any dual tires at least once every, whichever is less. 1 hour or 50 miles. 2 hours or 100 miles. 3 hours or 150 miles. Answer. 
2 hours or 100 miles. Question 47. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Hexen, UN-1208, flammable liquid. Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid, UN-1789. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN-1048. Answer. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN-1048. Question 48. You may not park a vehicle carrying hazardous materials within feet of an open fire. 300 200 100 Answer 300 Question 49 the basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The identification number. The proper shipping name. The hazard class. Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 50. A hazard class name or ID number may not be used to describe a Reportable quantity of a hazardous substance Non-hazardous material Hazardous waste Answer Non-hazardous material Question 51. Who is responsible for checking to be sure the shipper correctly named, labeled, and marked a hazardous materials shipment? Manufacturer Shipper Carrier Answer Carrier Question 52. The power unit of a placarded vehicle must have a fire extinguisher with a all rating of BC or more. 5 15 10 Answer 10 Question 53 if hazardous materials is spilling from your vehicle, do not move your vehicle. Any more than 500 feet. Any more than safety requires. In an upwind direction. Answer. Any more than safety requires. Question 54. You are behind the wheel of a truck carrying a shipment of hazardous material. The shipping papers must be in a pouch on the driver's door or in Clear view within your reach The truck's glove compartment A box under the driver's seat Answer Clear view within your reach Question 55. You have a vehicle with all tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are Less than half of the load Bundled loosely together with steel strapping Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced Answer Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. 
Question 56. When fueling a placarded vehicle, someone must always be at the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher at the emergency power shutoff for the pump. Answer At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Question 57. You should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying of chlorine. 110 gallons. Any amount. 100 gallons. Answer. Any amount. Question 58. An X in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry means. The material is not a hazardous material. The entry is for a hazardous material. This is an exception to the hazardous materials regulations. Answer The entry is for a hazardous material. Question 59. Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The driver. The shipper. The carrier. Answer. The driver. Question 60. There are two lists that drivers, shippers, and carriers use to find out if a material is a regulated product. One of these lists is the Shippers list of transportable quantities List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities EPA dangerous materials table Answer List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities. Question 61. Which of the following must drivers have in their possession while transporting class A or B explosives? The written route plan. The carrier's insurance policy. Both of the above. Answer. The written route plan. Question 62. When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when The driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. The shipment is a hazardous waste. The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Answer The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Question 63. You find an overheated tire during an en route inspection. If you are hauling hazardous materials, you must. Wait at least two hours before continuing your trip. Cool the tire, then check it every two hours. Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Answer Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Question 64 a vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Dangerous placards Explosives of placards Blasting agents placards Answer Explosives of placards 
Question 65. Class A explosives must not be transported in a combination vehicle if the vehicle includes a 200-inch wheelbase trailer, two or more trailers, a placarded cargo tank. Answer. A placarded cargo tank. Question 66. Animals and human food stuff should not be loaded in the same vehicle with Poisons Explosives Flammable gases Answer Poisons Question 67. You have a vehicle with all tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are less than half of the load, bundled loosely together with steel strapping, loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Answer Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 68. To find out if a shipment includes of hazardous materials, you should Open and inspect every package and container. Check for a fence around the loading dock. Look at the shipping papers. Answer Look at the shipping papers. Question 69. A driver who transports radioactive materials and has to follow a certain route must have had special training by the carrier within the last years. 3 2 4 Answer 2 Question 70. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Blasting agents blackguards Dangerous blackguards Explosives blackguards Answer Explosives blackguards Question 71. When handling packages of explosive, you must Never use hooks or other metal tools. Double wrap wet boxes in plastic to prevent staining. Keep bystanders 100 feet away. Answer Never use hooks or other metal tools. Question 72. With most hazardous materials, you may park within 5 feet of the road briefly, if your work requires it. The materials that are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the road are Corrosives and oxidizers Acids and poisons Explosives A and B Answer Explosives A and B. Question 73. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Hydrogen bromide, non flammable gas, UN 1048. Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid, UN 1789. Hexen, UN 1208, flammable liquid. Answer Hydrogen bromide, non flammable gas, UN 1048.
Question 74. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The identification number. The proper shipping name. The hazard class. Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 75. An X in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry means. The material is not a hazardous material. The entry is for a hazardous material. This is an exception to the hazardous materials regulations. Answer. The entry is for a hazardous material. Question 76. To stop for railroad tracks, you should stop. Feet before the nearest track. 5 to 20. 15 to 50. 10 to 35. Answer. 15 to 50. Question 77. You are transporting hazardous materials. When you are not behind the wheel, the shipping papers must be on the driver's seat or on the dashboard in clear view, in the pouch on the driver's door, with you. Answer. In the pouch on the driver's door. Question 78. The intent of hazardous materials regulations is to ensure safety, to contain the material, and to communicate the risk, to allow state enforcement, to tax shippers correctly. Answer. To communicate the risk. Question 79. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The identification number. The proper shipping name. The hazard class. Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 80. When handling packages of explosive, you must. Double wrap wet boxes in plastic to prevent staining. Never use hooks or other metal tools. Keep bystanders 100 feet away. Answer. Never use hooks or other metal tools. Question 81. When hauling hazardous materials, you must stop your vehicle and check any dual tires at least once every. Whichever is less. 3 hours or 150 miles. 2 hours or 100 miles. 1 hour or 50 miles. Answer. 2 hours or 100 miles. Question 82. When there is hazardous materials emergency, you should Prevent smoking and keep open flames away. Keep people away and warn them of danger. Do both of the above. Answer. Do both of the above. Question 83. Whenever your vehicle is placarded, 
Do not drive near open fires unless you are equipped with fire sprinklers. Have LTL of a non flammable materials. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Answer Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Question 84. When fueling a placard at vehicle, someone must always be at the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow, at the emergency power shut off for the pump, within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher. Answer At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Question 85. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? Before starting the trip. While you are still on a part of the route that you know. Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip. Answer before starting the trip. Question 86. If you are in an accident involving hazardous materials, you should Tell only the emergency response team about the hazard. Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident. Prevent a panic by acting like nothing is wrong. Answer. Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident. Question 87. Animals and human food stuff should not be loaded in the same vehicle with Poisons Explosives Flammable gases Answer. Poisons. Question 88. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Driver. Shipper. Carrier. Answer. Shipper. Question 89. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The proper shipping name. The identification number. The hazard class. Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 90. You are transporting hazardous materials. When you are not behind the wheel, the shipping papers must be on the driver's seat or on the dashboard in clear view. With you. In the pouch on the driver's door. Answer. In the pouch on the driver's door. Question 91. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? While you are still on a part of the route that you know. Before starting the trip. Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip. Answer. Before starting the trip. Question 92. Who is responsible for checking to be sure the shipper correctly named, labeled, and marked a hazardous materials shipment? 
Shipper Manufacturer Carrier Answer Carrier Question 93. Which of the following must drivers have in their possession while transporting Class A or B explosives? The carrier's insurance policy. The written route plan. Both of the above. Answer. The written route plan. Question 94. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Blasting agents blackguards Dangerous blackguards Explosives the blackguards Answer Explosives the blackguards Question 95. Whenever your vehicle is placarded, do not drive near open fires unless you can safely pass the fire without stopping. Have LTL of a non-flammable materials. Are equipped with fire sprinklers. Answer. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Question 96. You are transporting hazardous materials. When you are not behind the wheel, the shipping papers must be on the driver's seat door. In the pouch on the driver's door. On the dashboard in clear view. With you. Answer. In the pouch on the driver's door. Question 97. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Carrier Driver Shipper Answer Shipper Question 98. When fueling a placard at vehicle, someone must always be at the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher at the emergency power shut off for the pump. Answer At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow Question 99. A railroad crossing is ahead of you and you are handling hazardous material. When you stop for the crossing, you can stop as far away as feet from the nearest trail. 25 75 50 Answer 50 Question 100. You have loaded a hazardous material into a cargo tank. What must you do before you move the vehicle? Call Chemtrek by phone and tell them where you are going. Have the loading observers sign the shipping papers. Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Answer. Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Question 101. The intent of hazardous materials regulations is to ensure safety, to contain the material, and to communicate the risk, to allow state enforcement, to tax shippers correctly, 
Answer. To communicate the risk. Question 102. A hazard class name or ID number may not be used to describe a non-hazardous material, hazardous waste, reportable quantity of a hazardous substance, Answer. Non-hazardous material. Question 103. A driver who transports radioactive materials and has to follow a certain route must have had special training by the carrier within the last years. 3. 2. 4. Answer. 2. Question 104. The transport index of a radioactive material tells the degree of control needed during transportation is another way of writing the weight of the package is something that only the shipper needs to worry about. Answer. Tells the degree of control needed during transportation. Question 105. Who is responsible for checking to be sure the shipper correctly named, labeled, and marked a hazardous materials shipment? Carrier. Manufacturer. Shipper. Answer. Carrier. Question 106. With most hazardous materials, you may park within 5 feet of the road briefly, if your work requires it. The materials that are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the road are Corrosives and oxidizers Acids and poisons Explosives at NB. Answer. Explosives at NB. Question 107. To stop for railroad tracks, you should stop feet before the nearest track. 5 to 20. 15 to 50. 10 to 35. Answer. 15 to 50. Question 108. A vehicle placarded for hazardous materials must have placards on. Besides. 2. 4. 3. Answer. 4. Question 109. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Dangerous placards Explosives placards Blasting agents placards Answer Explosives placards Question 110. You have loaded a hazardous material into a cargo tank. What must you do before you move the vehicle? Call Kimtrek by phone and tell them where you are going. Have the loading observers sign the shipping papers. Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Answer. Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Question 111. 
who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials. The carrier. The driver. The shipper. Answer. The driver. Question 112. If there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the Carrier must report any spill of this material. Material has an insurance value of over $1,000. Material is in a package containing no other materials. Answer Carrier must report any spill of this material. Question 113. You have a vehicle with all tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are bundled loosely together with steel strapping. Less than half of the load. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Answer Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 114 You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. When can you legally haul hazardous material? Only if it is a non-placarded material. Only when the load is placarded. Only when the shipment does not cross the state lines. Answer. Only if it is a non-placarded material. Question 115. Which of the following must drivers have in their possession while transporting Class A or B explosives? The carrier's insurance policy. The written route plan. Both of the above. Answer. The written route plan. Question 116. You should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying of chlorine. 100 gallons. Any amount. 110 gallons. Answer. Any amount. Question 117. When transporting chlorine in cargo tanks, you must have An emergency kit for controlling leaks in fittings on the dome cover plate An approved gas mask Both of the above Answer Both of the above Question 118. An X in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry means. The material is not a hazardous material. The entry is for a hazardous material. This is an exception to the hazardous materials regulations. Answer. The entry is for a hazardous material. Question 119. When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when The driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. The shipment is a hazardous waste. The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Answer. The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product.
Question 120, if hazardous materials is spilling from your vehicle, do not move your vehicle. Any more than 500 feet. In an upwind direction. Any more than safety requires. Answer. Any more than safety requires. Question 121. If you are in an accident involving hazardous materials, you should Prevent a panic by acting like nothing is wrong. Tell only the emergency response team about the hazard. Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident. Answer Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident. Question 122. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Shipper. Driver. Carrier. Answer. Shipper. Question 123. When fueling a placard at vehicle, someone must always be at the emergency power shut off for the pump, within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher, at the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Answer At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Question 124. A vehicle placarded for hazardous materials must have placards on. Sides. 2. 3. 4. Answer. 4. Question 125. Carriers must give each driver who transports class A or B explosive. An extra fire bottle. The consignee's phone number. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. Answer. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. Question 126. If an X or an RQ is in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry, the material listed on that line is the largest part of the shipment. Shipment is regulated by hazardous material regulations. Entry refers to the materials that must be toploaded. Answer. Shipment is regulated by hazardous material regulations. Question 127. A driver who transports radioactive materials and has to follow a certain route must have had special training by the carrier within the last years. 3 2 4 Answer. 2. Question 128. With most hazardous materials, you may park within 5 feet of the road briefly, if your work requires it. The materials that are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the road are Acids and poisons Explosives A and B Corrosives and oxidizers. Answer. Explosives A and B. 
Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.